15 years ago, when the Malaysian government seized the shares of 172,000 Singaporeans in 112 Malaysian companies, SIAS was formed quite unexpectedly to champion the rights of these club investors. After a nine-month negotiations and employing methods which were quite unusual, SIS was quite successful in freeing the shares. I think SIAS has evolved over time. When we first started SIAS, it was really to address the needs of investors who were caught up with the Klopp saga. Today, we still fulfil the needs of investors uh, by addressing their investment needs and also teaching them how to better invest in, uh, for their financial future. During the clock campaign, when we went north-south, east-west of Singapore, we realised that many Singaporeans were investing without knowledge. And investing without knowledge is a gamble. So in order to help ordinary citizens to invest and grow their money, SIAS started an ambitious programme to educate Singaporeans on financial planning and on investing on various instruments. Now we have started helping senior citizens on understanding money and to protect them from financial abuse. We have covered 960 programs and 125,000 Singaporeans have benefited from these programs. These programs are continuing. In the 15 years since it was established, SIAS has accomplished a lot in championing the interests of minority shareholders, in particular, private individual investors. SGX is proud and happy to have partnered and will continue to partner SIAS in its many projects to keep investors well informed and to promote good corporate governance, all towards the common objective of maintaining fair, orderly and transparent market. On behalf of SGX, I congratulate everyone involved in SIAS on the 15th anniversary and wish you all the best for the future. We know that SAS has many investors program and today clearly we see the results of better informed investors and from corporate perspective, we use them for benchmarking and for improving our practices. It has been an impressive 15 years with many achievements. Congratulations once again, and I wish SIAS continued success. SIAS is an important organisation for investors. They help to level the playing field for all retail investors. SIAS helps to educate investors, as well as to promote corporate governance amongst listed companies. This would improve returns for all investors, and also would help Singapore attract listings and capital to our stock market. When investments of retail investors are interfered with, SIS is there to protect them. We have done so in several cases. Besides Klopp, we were there in China Aviation Oil, helping to resuscitate the company. We were there in NetSteel, protecting investors from conditional dividend payment. And there are many more examples. But SIS has employed a new brand of activism that is in the boardroom and not the courtroom to maintain investor relations peace in Singapore. I think SIAS used to organize all sorts of dialogue sessions, then some company preview and so on. Then I like particularly is that they cover some of the companies which are very relatively unknown and not covered by the analysts and also the stock. Of course, we are small shareholders. There's no level playing field because we have no financial backing to engage people to do all the research for us. But luckily, shares come to our help. And that one is a big plus for shares. SIS has taken several initiatives to promote good corporate governance. It is important for investors to know how companies are governed so that their investments are safe. 
Tonight's event, the Singapore Corporate Governance Award, is just one example of how we rate and award companies. We have also organized the Global Corporate Governance Conference to help corporate governance professionals and intermediaries to update and to have insight into global practices in corporate governance. I'd like to congratulate SIAS for putting together an excellent program. I think the issues are brilliant. Uh, it's really the things that we want to be looking at today and the new perspectives and insights generated from discussions will certainly have an influence in the corporate governance debate. I'd like to congratulate CS on your 15th birthday. Um, I think that you play an incredibly important role in this part of the world, you know, representing the voice of investors and small shareholders. And traditionally, that hasn't been a very strong voice in Asia, but CS, I think, is really transforming that and has been extremely influential in a number of situations in Singapore where it's made a real difference to corporate governance. And also, I want to congratulate you for your annual corporate governance conference, which I'm taking part in uh, this year. I think it's an excellent event. Um, you know, brings together a lot of very interesting people from all over the world and, and the region uh, for an exchange of views about corporate governance. Up till now, CIAS has been driven more by events, episodes of uh, corporate events where CIAS has taken the lead to represent some of the minority shareholders. Uh, CES has also undertaken training programs, uh, but going forward, we really hope to uh, cover this in a more holistic fashion. And in order to do this better, we would therefore need to reach out to even more corporate support to underline the importance of um, corporate governance in the way that companies are run in Singapore which will ultimately make for a deeper and better capital market here in Singapore. SIS is here to stay. We will continue doing what we do best with our mission to protect the small investors, promote corporate governance and resolve issues amicably in the boardroom and not the courtroom. We will do what we have done best and we will do more. Thank you, sponsors of our Investor Education and all our supporters. Please continue to be with us. Thank you.